Hello, I am Oli Shagun Akeolu Gwenjo. This is Naira Metrics and here are today's headlines. Nigeria's exchange rate closes at 1,603 Naira to $1 as the Naira hits its worst level in four months. The CDN sells one-year treasury bill at 22.1% in July auction. Former Lagos State Commissioner Tunji Belo assumes office as the FCCPC boss. Nigerian government to issue $500 million dominated domestic bond. Nigerian artists face uncertainty as the Universal Music Group's streaming growth slows. And now the news in full. The Naira has suffered further depreciation on the Nigerian Autonomous Foreign Exchange Market window, closing at 1,603 Naira to $1 on Thursday, the 25th of July, 2024. According to data from the FMDQ Security Exchange, the Naira depreciated by 1.07% from 1,586 Naira to $1 recorded the previous day. It is also the lowest level since the 14th of March, 2024, when it was 1,608 Naira to $1 as the Naira breaks the 1,600 ceiling. Naira Metrics has also reported that the bullish dollar index and summer vacation have led to a considerable increase in demand for foreign currencies, putting significant pressure on the Naira. Coming up next, the Central Bank of Nigeria has sold one-year treasury bills at a stop rate of 22.1% during its July 24 auction. This move reflects the central bank's ongoing efforts to manage liquidity and control inflation in the economy. According to the auction results, the total amount offered by the CBN in this auction was 277.96 billion naira spread across the different tenors. This represents an increase of 21.53% from 229.72 billion naira offered in the previous auction of June 26, 2024. Next, a former Lagos State Commissioner, Mr. Tunji Bilu, on Thursday assumed office as the Chief Executive Officer slash Executive Vice Chairman of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. Bilu's assumption comes a month after President Bola Ahmed Tinubu appointed him and follows the Senate's confirmation of the appointment on Tuesday. He takes over from Adamu Abdullahi who has been leading the commission in an acting capacity since the removal of the former helmsman Babatunde Irukira in January. Still in the Nigerian world of finance, the federal government of Nigeria has announced plans to issue $500 million in domestic foreign currency denominated bonds in three to four weeks' time. Wali Edu, the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, said this during a quarterly press briefing in Abuja themed Economic Recovery and Growth, Progress and Prospects 2024. And finally on entertainment, Universal Music Group, a leading music label, backing Don Jazz's Maven Records, has seen its shares drop by over 20% and intense competition in the streaming market. The decline, which occurred shortly after the market opened on Thursday, is attributed to below expectation results in UMG streaming and subscription businesses. UMG's Vice President and CFO, Boyd Muir, explained that the year-over-year -year slowdown in subscription growth is due to the time in price increases from partners like Spotify, Amazon Music, and Apple Music, which have raised prices in recent years, aiding UMG's revenue from subscriptions. And that's it from us today. Don't forget to stay up to date with Naira Metrics, engage with our posts across our platforms, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Good day.